difficult for our patients to to let go of those defences, whether they're physical or mental. Yeah, I think I'm not even sure I, I really like the term defences anymore. But certainly what our patients have developed and what we have developed are our ways of coping, which have been ways of getting us mm -hmm. through life up until now, whether they, whether they began to take root in early infancy or later on in life, what we must absolutely always have is huge compassionate respect for the defenses in ourselves and in other people. Because I think there's a way, part of the reason why I don't like the term defense is that it can seem something bad. Nobody likes to be called defensive, for example. Whereas actually these are very, very appropriate coping strategies, which might, might have in a way be a bit past their sell by date. We can't quite bear to throw them out yet. I know that evolutionary thinking is really impacted on you and, and, and in evolutionary thinking it's very much um, that it's, trauma is seen in, uh, or defences are seen in, in um, the context of adaptation to yeah. one's environment. Yeah. Well Bowlby of course was one of the greatest um, thinkers around this area in terms of link and he developed attachment theory which was absolutely had evolutionary at its core. and. I think we can learn from Bowlby, you know, Bowlby, he had, there are two different streams in Bowlby around, around this. One is the idea of an, an environment of evolutionary adaptedness. So we have a lot of respect for where we, in many ways, our brains and bodies are no different to how they were 10 or 15,000 years ago. We haven't changed that much. Um, so we still have a kind of Neolithic brain, if you like, and body and mind. So, but also what Bowlby realized was that we always adapt to a particular environment because it makes sense to to survive otherwise you don't survive and pass on your genes so if i didn't develop certain defenses i might not have survived in order to um, reach an age where, where i could procreate and pass on my genes to the next generation so those defenses have been very useful but they can get us into trouble if we don't know when if we don't know in our beings that actually it's safe to let them go it, it, it sort of strikes me as a much more compassionate approach to seeing um, people's adaptations in this way mm. rather than a criticism or something that needs to be done away with yeah that people's environment are going to going to affect their behavior and affect their psyche that's double deprivation isn't it that you deprive yourself of good experiences when when you've experienced trauma in that way yeah so double depri that's an interesting way of thinking about it because actually double deprivation with Gianna Williams is brilliant concept which is the idea that kids are deprived and then they can't make use of the good experiences that are in front of them, good therapist, good teacher, good adoptive parent. Um, so that's the double deprivation, but actually they can't give themselves those things as another form of it. Yeah.